Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take a colored photo, convert it into a black and white, and keep the colored eyes. Now you may have seen this tutorial on YouTube before or somewhere else, but as always I'm going to try to give you a different twist on things. Well the first tool I'm going to select is this one over here. If you go four down on the second column right here, or maybe you only have a single column, it's the one that looks like this and if you hover over it it says the selection brush tool. Now click on this because at first we want the, the quick selection tool. Wow that's a mouthful there. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pick a brush that's approximately the same size as our eyes. Now in order to make the brush a little bit larger you can hit the right bracket or the left bracket key right there. I tend to make mine a little bit smaller and then do a little bit of selecting right in here. So let's go ahead and click on that and as you can see it selected the colored eyes right there. Now it grabbed a little bit of the eyelashes but we're going to fix that. Now hold the shift key down and you can select the other eye which is right there and it select the colored part of the eyes. Now real quickly we're going to hold the command or control and we're going to hit the plus sign so that we can zoom in a little bit on the eyes and then we can see the areas that the selection didn't do a very good job. Now this is where we go back to our tool, pick the selection brush tool, and the reason I have you do this is there's a hidden feature here where you can see the mask, just like in the full version of Photoshop. And as you can see, there's what I'm going to have masked. Now, I have the size 13 brush right here and I'm going to paint around my mask so just the eyes are visible. Now you want to make sure that the brush is at 100% hardness and we're going to go ahead and we are going to paint. Now I have the subtraction right here selected so if you have the add to selection we don't want that for right now we want the subtract to selection right there. So as, I, as you see I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paint right around the areas that are not the colored part of her eyes. Now mainly I'm selecting the eyelashes and the little bit of the eyebrow or the, uh, the eyes, the eyelids. So I'm going to go ahead. Now if you're worried that I'm painting a little bit too far into the eyes, that's okay because we're going to go back and we're going to check the other one which is subtract or add to selection actually. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Alright, now as you can see I didn't do a very good job so we're going to switch this one over to the add to selection and what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to erase. Now see I'm smoothing things out right there as you can see and I am now erasing part of the mask. And we're going to check this out in just a few seconds here. See, nice smooth, smooth mask here. Just a little bit more on this area right here. Alright, now I'm happy with that. I'm going to go over here, go back to the selection here, and as you can see it's pretty much done what I wanted it to. It's just selected the eyes. Now what we need to do is we need to use a short keyboard shortcut which is Command Shift or Control Shift I and what that's going to do is it's going to select everything on the outside of the eyes. Now it didn't appear that anything happened but trust me it did. Now you're going to do another keyboard shortcut. I like these keyboard shortcuts because it just takes you right to the function and we're going to use Command or Control Zero. What that does takes you back to the original magnification. As you can see there's marching ants on the outside and then there's some on the eyes. So we need to add an adjustment layer now. So in your layers palette at the bottom is a black and white cookie tool. If you click on that black and white cookie tool and you go to hue and saturation and you take the saturation slider and you slide it all the way down you notice that she is starting to turn black and white and pretty soon she is completely black and white and the only thing left are her eyes. That's the only thing that's left right there is her eyes. So that is a quick way of creating a black and white with just the colored eyes. Okay now that we have created our black and white with the colored eyes using the hue and saturation adjustment tool let's go ahead and play with what I call the twist to this. 
Now, we need to select the eyes again really quickly. So in order to do that, hold down the command key or the control key if you're on a PC and hold it over this white part of the hue and saturation adjustment layer. You'll see that there is a finger with a square box on it and if you click it, all of a sudden it selects the, what we had selected before. Now as before we're going to use the command shift I and what that's going to do is it's going to select the inverse and now we just have the eyes selected. Now what I want to do is I want to add another hue and saturation adjustment layer right there and this time we're going to pick color eyes and as you can see it immediately changed the colors of the eyes to red. But we don't have to do that we can change the hue here and we can give her some really vibrant green eyes. We could even adjust the saturation to the point where they're unbelievably green right here. And then we can change the lightness and darkness. We can give dark green or really light green eyes. But uh, you don't want to change the lightness too much. It gives it way too unbelievable. So as we swing this over, we could give her some nice deep blue eyes. Uh, if we want her to look pretty strange, we could give her more red eyes. Or we could go back to the other spectrum and put it back to green. Let's go ahead and change her eyes since they were green. Let's go ahead and change them to a blue. And I'm going to saturate these to very, very blue. Now, of course, that doesn't look very realistic. A lot of the catch lights and everything are not there anymore. And they've actually turned blue, so it does look very fake. So if you go back to the layers palette, we can take our opacity here and we can change that and we can take the opacity down, down just a little bit. And so now we have blue, but it's not quite the unbelievably blue eyes. There was the twist, adding a different color to the eyes. And all I did was use a hue and saturation adjustment layer with the colorize box check. Now if you want to take this back away, you can uncheck the eyeball tool right there and it will give you back the original hazel eyes which she had. If you want to give it back the blue eyes, you can go here. And if you want to change them from blue to another color, just double click the little gearbox right there and you can slide this over and you can change the hue to whatever color you want. So maybe you wanted some more green eyes without the hazel in them. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a thumbs up, like me on Facebook, or recommend me to your friends. Cheers!